Ah, dropped the camera already? How's that even possible? What's going on, guys? Uh, your boy Dave here. Another unboxing. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Pieces are coming back in. A lot of product that I've purchased is finally coming in. Uh, loading up the Dave Cave as much as humanly possible. Uh, this particular piece took me about a year to get. Now, I actually didn't know it was coming. I saw it on the UPS scanner of like items coming, but it never said it was shipped from China. Um, it was, it's here. The packaging is a little bit shady. There's no art box, not happy about that. But this is my first beast piece. So if you don't know already, I'm a huge X-Man fan. Um, I actually was not an Avengers fan. I'm a huge Thanos fan. So uh, I really love Venom too, but uh, Venom, Deadpool, Thanos, Wolverine, Gambit, uh, Colossus, uh, Silver Surfer, uh, those are my characters, right? Juggernaut as well. Those are my characters besides the Power Rangers stuff you see behind me. A lot of the pieces you see here are actually a lot of those characters. Um, I did like Iron Man. I have a few Iron Man pieces I like, things like that, but I was a big X-Man fan growing up. Now, Beast was one of my favorite characters at one point. The downside is there weren't a lot of Beast statues out there. This particular statue is super dope. And there's a lot, um, there's a lot to say about the character. There's also a lot to say about this particular piece because there's so much going on with it. Now, I am going to have to take my time putting this one together. This is a custom. Now, I've learned the hard way to never shout out a custom creator's uh, company name because you don't want to blow them up and get them in trouble because it's usually unlicensed. Um, and I don't want to be that guy because I've done it by accident in the past and I was asked to take down a video, respectfully, of course. They were very cool about it. Um, but I get it. I understand. Uh, I, I guess in some essence, the quote-unquote piracy laws uh, do surround there. I, I hope this works because oh, it doesn't work. Oh, no. Damn. Right off the rip, something doesn't work. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that yet. Um, that's a light up lamp. Now, for those of you guys who know who Beast is, Beast is an actual beast, he's a monster, and um, he is an X-Men. He's a mutant, I should say, not a monster. But he's a big blue character, here's the C, and he really does have two sides of him, right? So he has, oh, this is such a pretty nice detail on this. Uh, he has two sides of him, that we know of, and most importantly, he has the educated side because he is a brilliant man, or was a brilliant man, and then he has the beast side, which makes him a totally badass, uh, blue, bear-looking creature. Well, a beast, yeah, that's, that summed it up. And I was really, oh, this is shaky. Bear me on this one, guys. This is a interesting piece to try to take out without breaking it. Okay. I was I was in the midst of looking for a beast piece, and I just couldn't find anything online. And wherever I looked, I kind of got the runaround, and it wasn't really anything that was up to par of what I wanted. Now, it took me a little while, but I finally found this piece, and this is the complete opposite side of beast this is the educated side uh it took like i said it took a little bit about a year to, to make give or take and obviously with covid things changed a lot in the in the space that we uh that we buy statues in um this has layers to it i'm not a big fan of packaging so i'm gonna uh -oh, okay a lot of things flying around. Now, when I saw this piece, I didn't even ask the price. I just said, give it to me. And mainly because it was more different than anything I've ever seen before. Now, this is 11 of 60. So there's the bottom of it. Okay. Really, I, I'll i be honest. My expectations to this were actually kind of low. No offense to the uh, creator of it. But when I first saw images of other people's, it didn't look very good. Um, I actually was really disappointed in it because 
it just looks very low quality. And I'll be honest with you, what I'm taking out of this box right now, the pictures don't do it justice. So I'm actually way, I'm about to be extremely impressed, actually probably borderline annoyed with this particular part. But uh, yeah, I was, I was a little disappointed in it. And I, I guess to be honest with you, it was really, it unfortunately was just bad pictures. So um, for those of you who did purchase this, you did not do the, the, the product any justice. So shame on you. Um, you should have definitely, definitely, definitely put a little more acknowledgement into uh, a piece like this. Now, I did have one problem with the project, and I'll be perfectly blunt about it, because um, I think that's how any collector should be. I, I will, let me backtrack on one thing. One thing is... A lot of you collectors out there that, or even if you're new to the space, I don't, I'm not nearly as brutal as some of these guys out there are. And, and listen, I get it. Someone said to me, well, you have to be because it's a very expensive hobby. And you know what? I never really looked at it like that, but, and I'm not saying it's because I have a lot of money. I'm saying it because I kind of guess I just take a little bit of it for granted because well, I don't, I don't think of the dollars and cents in, in the way some other people may think of it as. Um, so back to the piece, when I was looking at it, I was really disappointed in the paint. Um, and I, I'm i still not 100% on the, on the paint. But I'm not going to say it's anything in which I thought it was. Because, again, judging by some of the photos, this quality of work is really good. And it looks way better than I thought it did. So I'm excited. Now, I showed you guys, you can see a little bit here. It's actually, uh, it looks like it's part of the mansion on the bottom. Now, I don't like the paint the way it is in the sense that it's got like a like um, a matte finish to it, I guess. And, and obviously it would be matte because it's oak flooring. Uh, however, the carpet is so cool. So it's the X symbol, but it feels, you know, rough like a, like a Berber carpet would. So I think that's really cool. I'm actually really impressed by that little detail. Um, now there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on here, so I want to make sure I do this right. And I, I seems like I landed it right where it's supposed to go. Now I don't like the way that sits, so I'm hoping I'm just missing one little piece to it somehow. Um, okay, there's a couple things going on here that I have to figure out. I actually don't know what the heck this is. Oh, I do know what this is. Okay, and I'll show you what this is. So, again, two sides of the beast. This is a custom. I'm not going to say names. I don't want to get yelled at again. But the two sides of the beast are super important, right? Because you have the badass beast who's going to war to fight Magneto and Juggernaut and all those other characters. And then you have this guy right here, okay? This is the more educated side of beast that you don't necessarily get to see. Uh, well, and she, I guess in the cartoon we'd see it a little bit, but wow, I'm actually, it's a really, it, I, listen, I know I'm being a little bit of a hater, but it's a really nice piece um, as it all fits in the place. It's really nice. It's a really, it's, this sculpt to me is one of my favorite sculpts, and to be honest with you, the artist who did it is a very dedicated guy to his work. I mean, he's super passionate. Um, passionate by default, in essence. And, Riley, get out of the way. Come on, buddy. Um, looking at it now and kind of like just absorbing some of it, I, a guy that's so passionate in his work, there are a few things that I am certainly going to point out that I'm a little disappointed on. But let's get through it first. I, I got to tell you, I'm actually really taken back by how cool this is with the, the way that he added certain things on. Like, for instance, the detail of the jacket right here. That's really cool. Um, I like how Beast is perched up on this. Oh, you got to be careful with this. This is a rough one. Okay, hold on a second. Maybe this is backwards. It's backwards. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, I'm slipping here. We're slipping. We're slipping. Okay, I don't like this. This is going to piss me off a little bit. 
I don't like that I have to do all that to get the stupid foot in, but we're going to put them back. There it goes. So this is cool, right? This is a very cool pose. It's different. It's not like anything else. Um, I'm, I, there's two things I'm, I'm not happy with. And listen, it's just a detail that I would have done, but I don't make statues. So I can't knock these guys. This particular artist, and I call them artists because this is an art. This particular artist, he probably has like 60 things going on on his plate. Um, so I won't necessarily knock it, but silly things. Uh, I am disappointed because this lamp right here does not turn on. Um, I'm sure there is. Yeah, it looks like I, I could pop it. Oh, you know what? I might be able to pop it open with my little clip here. So the layout of this is just dope. And honestly, like, I'm not disappointed in anything of... I have one regret, which I'll probably end up raffling off if my channel ends up ever getting any kind of buzz to it. Okay, so the good news is there's just no batteries. So I have to get a battery. That kind of sucks. But um, it is easy access to fix the battery and put a new battery in, so I will be certain to do that. Um, I didn't bat an eye when purchasing this project. And the reason why I didn't bat an eye is because I thought it was just so different and unique from all the statues that I've seen. I didn't have a problem committing to it um, when the artist dropped the POs for it. Uh, it was just, I mean, you can see it right now. The pose is super cool. To be honest with you, this may be one of the coolest layouts ever. My problem is the detail is lacking in weird things. Now, one thing's for certain, and I, I understand why he did it. this one up and I'll be spinning it for days. One thing's for certain about this particular piece is that it is definitely probably, you'll never see anything like this again. Because I think what most people want is they want that primal rage of Beast. And as cool as that may sound, it, it kind of takes a lot, you know, it takes a lot to do something different like this. And I think what the artist did, and, and again, I call them artists, I think what the artist did was he stepped out of the box and said, hey, look, I'm going to do something that no one else has done. I'm going to create a project that no one else has done, and I'm going to have fun with it. And I think he did. And I think what's really, really, really unique about it is the way he went about this project. You could tell that he designed it and put a lot of effort into the layout of it. Now, this is... This to me is tedious. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not happy I'm doing this, but I am. Um, he made little tiny chess pieces, which is cool. Um, I like the, the idea of it. I think the idea is really, really, really smart. And I wish they could have come up with another way of doing it. But let me tell you something. There is no way in hell that you will ever see someone be able to do this and land it perfectly. It just, unfortunately, just will not happen. So kudos to them, man, because this is, to have somebody make these little chess pieces, and I'll zoom in on, on it for you shortly, uh, it's just it's just really impressive. So, so good for you guys for doing that. I think that was just, again, these are things that people do to really just, you know, step out. Roby, shut up. Um, these are what some of these artists do to step out among the rest. And I think he executed perfectly on that. I, I'm going to put out the pieces that I don't like uh, shortly. I am wasting your time putting in these every freaking one of these. Uh, but it's just all part of the effect to kind of give you guys the full overview of it. Now... To talk about purchasing custom statues, it obviously is a dangerous game. If you know anything about purchasing custom statues, there's a big risk factor, right? So first and foremost, I, what I've learned from my experience, I've never had an issue, thank God, um, is that you you tend to be you tend to get stuck in this in this platform where a lot of the times you can or you may or may not get stuck with getting well um, let me say let me start over you may or may not get 
beat for a project. Now, I fortunately have yet to been hurt by anyone. So I'm very, very, very lucky in that aspect. And I do know that there are people who get burned by these projects. So whenever you hear about someone saying, you know, I don't know if I want to buy a custom statue because of X, Y, Z, I'm nervous. They're not wrong. As a matter of fact, they have every right to be nervous because you really are putting your fin finances on the line because you don't know what's going to happen. I've heard, you know, a ton of freaking nightmare stories where someone has said to me, oh my God, I bought a custom statue and it never came or um, I got screwed by the, uh, I forgot the, the, the terminology, um, I got screwed by the creator of it, yada, 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 and... I think that's the worst. I can only imagine what that feeling is. And I'm, like I said, I'm very lucky that it hasn't happened to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you are putting a big risk in the sense that anybody can just run off with your money. Now, I've been involved in a couple of statue, um, a couple of statue setups where luckily I know a little bit about chess. So I know where most of these pieces go. Um, I've been involved in a couple of statues where I didn't know if we were actually going to get our piece, but I never had to question the actual creator. And again, in this particular setup, I knew this guy had longevity, so I, this taking a long time did not affect me. And honestly, it's a really great statue. Like I said, I don't regret it. However, these are the things I'm not happy with. So he has, uh, and I, I kind of think this is just a waste of time, but I listen... To each his own. Again, this is art from someone's mind. So there are three different arms, right? So the first one is going to be the arm that's playing chess. So that arm's playing chess. Fine. But then I have two switch out arms that are relatively the same thing, but they're different colors. Now, one's a lighter blue. The other's a darker blue. The time is the same on them. So I'm starting to think I, I got... Well, and I didn't get an extra arm, so don't, you know, I get that. One arm is for him to think. The other arm is for him to, to read a book. So think, read a book. Think, read a book. I'm going to opt to have him reading a book while playing chess because I think that one thing that's really cool about Beast was is he was just a really educated, you know, one of the X-Men. So to have him playing chess and reading a book, I think is just, you know, nice and cocky of him. Um... There is a book right here. It's got a nice little etching on it. So, you know, the little, the little cutouts from the, uh, from the engraving of it. And it says, Beyond Good and Evil. Now, here's my problem, guys. I'm going to put my other on my drawer right here. Um, my problem is this. There's nothing in the book. So, part of the detail I don't like about this. Awesome statue. I don't like that. Now, I, I can't put the book in without putting the head in. And, and let me examine, it, examine this real quick. So... I think they fell short on paint, and I'll show you. So my problem with the paint is this. It's just a lot of blue, right? But the detail isn't bad. It's just that, again, for an artist who has so much going on, I mean, really, the guy does have a lot going on, there should have been just little stupid details. And I don't mean full writing in the book, but let's just put something, ink or something in it to make it look like it's there, um, just to kind of help it out a little bit. And... I think, realistically, the whole statue is an awesome piece. With Besides the little details, I'm not even going to waste my time showing you guys. It is a really cool piece. This is something you'll probably never see from any of the major companies do. Uh, I, I would say a lot of the bigger guys, Iron Studios, XM, they focus on action badass pieces. This is showing you the educated side of Beast. Now, I have another part, another beast one coming from another custom uh, statue, which is the opposite side of beast. Uh, it's nothing like the, the raw craziness of the XM beast, but it is a very cool, sinister-looking beast prior to going to fight. So, with this piece, all in all, I love it. I'm happy it's a part of my collection. I'm happy to have another beast go next to it. I'm disappointed in the paint a little bit. I think that they're... Could have been a little more uh, help to that. But then again, you know, I'm looking at his shirt. 
His shirt's got all the creases on it because he's obviously a bigger guy. He's bulky, he's muscular. It's got the wrinkles in the shirts. It's got the pleating in the shirt, the pleating on the vest, which looks really, really cool from here. I think the color blue is a little bit aggressive. Um, maybe a little deeper on that. I think the carpet looks awesome. Even the seat looks really good. You can see the airbrush overflow, which kind of sucks, um, but really nice. But then you have an issue like this table right here. There's no wear and tear. It looks like they just kind of printed it in the shop, put it down and didn't do anything to it. Um, they could have put some wear and tear on the table, but the base looks very nice. Just the table itself, not a lot of detail. I think it's really cool that the chess pieces are individual pieces. One, because they don't break when you ship them. Two, because you can place them in there and if you know anything about chess, they go in there. The lamp looks great. Uh, I think they could have made a couple more little things a little more hollow to show a little more light. But it doesn't sit too well, which I'm not happy about at all. But other than that, guys, this is a cool piece. Um, again, this is there's only 60 Rand of this. Not a lot. I don't think you'll ever see anybody else make one like this. And that's what I like the most about it is I'm part of one of 60 people who have this. So all in all, I love it. I think it's a great piece. I'm happy to make it part of my collection. Um, even the jeans and the pants with the rippling of it. The body itself looks great, just, just the paint's a little bit off. But other than that, if they took maybe another two or three hours to kind of correct a couple things, this would have been a, a you know a solid 9 out of 10 statue. I'm going to give it a 7.5, which is high. I think that's high. I think that's being a fair grade. I'm not going to sucker butt anybody, so, anybody whatsoever. I love it. I'm very happy it's a part of my collection. I'm going to add it right over here with my sentinels and my whole x-men line over here with some of the busts i have so cool piece i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching um if you guys want like and subscribe and try to do these whenever i get them again custom beast gambit statue the really just really cool piece man awesome layout i mean just really awesome i mean again the detail on the carpet the chest pieces they all come out He's reading a, uh, a blank book, which is a little bit silly, but that's okay. Again, the paint a little bit, you know, could have been a little more love into it. I think it's, it looks good that he's looking at the book. I mean, he's really, he's really got his eyes on the prize. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Contact me if there's anything I can do to help you out with some of the pieces I've posted. Uh, comment below. If you guys want me to talk about anything else or do anything else or review any stuff that you see back here, I'd be more than happy to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed Dave C. in the Dave Cave. This was your review. Ciao.